If you're a user of Apple Music, then you may have noticed that some features on some of your devices don't actually exist on others. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the features that need to be added on all Apple devices, plus even Windows and Android. All right, here we go. The first is a feature on iPhones, iPads, and Apple TVs that should be added to Mac and Android and Windows at a future time, but Apple Music Sing and Beat by Beat Lyrics. I still don't get why Apple hasn't added Apple Music Sing to the Mac, because wouldn't it make the most sense to use this karaoke feature on the portable device that has the best speakers? And Beat by Beat Lyrics just looks so cool. It's, it's so psychedelic to see. The next two features are features from the Mac and Windows PCs that should be added to iPhones, iPads, and Android phones. And those two are smart playlists and playlist folders. So if you're someone like me who doesn't want to constantly remember to update playlists, then smart playlists are amazing. It basically works like if I have a bunch of songs in my library and I only want a playlist to feature the songs that are, let's say, under three minutes long, then I can specifically set that as a rule for the smart playlist and the smart playlist will automatically add every song in my library that is under three minutes to that playlist. It's an incredibly useful feature, and if you've added a smart playlist on your Mac, it will show up on your iPhone, but you can't actually create one from it. And playlist folders are also a great thing too. Think about it, if you have like 30 or so playlists in your library, it can be hard to find the specific playlist that you're looking for because it's all a jarbled mess, there's barely any sense of organization. And playlist folders can be a great way of getting that organization. So let's say I have playlists from my Apple Music Replay, um, I have the playlist that I've created, my friend's playlist, the playlist from Apple Music, all in separate folders so I can easily search for the playlist that I'm looking for. All right, this next feature should come from the iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Android phones to Mac and Windows PCs, animated artworks when playing music. So this is a feature that was touted in iOS 17, and I think having animated artworks while the song is playing is an incredible way to add life into the song that you're playing. Like, don't try to tell me that this is not a sight to see. The iPad doesn't have these animated artworks in full screen, taking up the entire display, but that's okay, because you can't really get around that. And so I imagine it cannot possibly be that hard to add this to a Mac or a Windows PC. All right, we're going strong here. Next, a feature from Mac and Windows that should be added to the iPhone, iPad, and Android phones, and that's Sound Enhancer. If you haven't tried out Sound Enhancer on a Mac or Windows PC, imagine it as spatialized stereo for AirPods and Beats if you've tried that already. If you don't have the best speakers, it can make your song sound more full. And uh, if we're looking at the iPhone SE speaker, yeah, that feature's kind of needed. And the next is something that people have been complaining about for years on end. The lack of a proper equalizer for Apple Music. Okay, okay, in the settings app you do have equalizer presets like increase bass, or jazz, or pop, or R&B, or piano. But the key word is presets. There aren't any sliders that you can adjust like you can on a Mac or a Windows PC. So this feature should be added to the iPhone, iPad, and Android phones. Now the final feature I want to talk about is something that Windows just got in the Apple Music Preview app on the Microsoft Store just a couple months ago, and it really should be added to the Mac, because... <sighs> Ooh, okay, well, Apple, I'm gonna rant here. So, you start playing a song in this Apple Music Preview app on your Windows PC, and you go to the mini player, and it looks like this. Okay, okay, that, that's, that's beautiful. But then you go to the mini player on a Mac, and it looks like this. It instantly just looks worse, duller, bland. Everything's gray apart from the album art. And it's laggy too. I have had multiple occasions where the song would be playing and playing and playing, and the lyrics would be moving and moving, syncing to the beat of the song. And then they just stop syncing. They just stay there while the song is still playing. It's become increasingly annoying, and it pisses me off to an unimaginable extent. So Apple, if you would please add this to the Apple Music app in a later version of macOS Sonoma, that would be very much appreciated. All right, the rant is over, but you know what else sadly is? This video. 
So, thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and also comment down below what you thought of this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye The voice memo live activity is probably the best thing that has ever existed. It is so cool. Like, here, look at this. Look at this, all right? Isn't it the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen?